How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel and uh, today I'm going to be talking about a very interesting topic. I'm going to be talking about how um, autism and ADHD uh, end up affecting sexuality and the sex drive. Uh, should be a very interesting video so let's get into it. Please sure, be sure to like, subscribe, and share if you find this interesting. Let's go. Alright, so this article is coming from Sex Info Online. Um, and please like the video because this is probably going to get demonetized. Um, but it is a very important video to talk about and it's educational. Um, so, sexuality and autism. Despite social and communication difficulties, by the onset of puberty, individuals with autism may seek a romantic relationship and or sexual activity. Like non-affected adults, individuals with autism spectrum disorders show the entire range of sexual behaviors and may seek romantic relationships just as non-affected individuals do. However, due to the core symptoms of the disorder spectrum, including the deficits in social skills, sensory, hypo, and hypersensitivities, and repetitive behaviors, some autism spectrum disorder individuals might develop quantitatively above average or non-normative sexual behaviors and interests. Individuals with developmental disabilities such as autism may face difficulties when expressing their sexuality. Um, that's something that I've experienced. And they may have more difficulty than other teens in initiating inappropriate contact. Such barriers such as include social myths, insufficient knowledge, and training opportunities, personal discomfort, and limited access to available and appropriate educational resources. That last one is especially true. These barriers to exp expressing sexuality may result in a lack of guidance, opportunity, emotional support, education, or acknowledgement of sexuality by caregivers. Informational education about sexuality occurs constantly through interactions with and observations of others and through the media. Young people with autism spectrum disorder may have already formed unhealthy opinions and views about sexuality, which can affect their self-esteem and interactions with others. Also, young adults with autism may become sexually active with others at an age later than their peers, and may take longer to find a partner. Obvious signs of belonging to engage sexual Engage sexually active arise when people with autism start noticing their bodies and physical features of others and when they begin engaging in masturbation. Oftentimes, this newly found sex drive may lead to inappropriate sexual behavior, i.e. masturbating in public, resulting from a lack of knowledge about privacy and social behavior norms. So that's really interesting, and um, a lot of people actually end up getting in trouble in the early years um, from like indecent exposure and all that. Um, but that's because like they don't really know how to how to behave essentially. Alrighty, so moving on, it says people with ASD sometimes lack the maturity and social skills to interact responsibly with a partner, and that's actually true for me personally. Um, that's one of the reasons why I'm choosing to remain single. Um, like by choice, um, because I really, um, am not able to, like, maturely interact with a partner. But many desire long-term relationships, intimacy, and sexual contact, just as non-affected individuals do, but individuals with autism are often rejected. Um, that's true with me, like, I desire just, like, what everyone desires, um, but, um, this can have a large negative effect on the individual's self-esteem and well-being. Meanwhile, those who are in a long-term relationship with an autistic partner often report either infrequent sexual activity due to communication or physical difficulties, or an overactive sex drive due to heightened sensory feelings during stimulation. Because of those circumstances, individuals with autism are commonly dissuaded from sexual activity or are misinformed about sexual education. People with autism have the right to form relationships and have sexual experiences if they feel comfortable doing so. They also have a right to regulate their own birth control and to be protected from automatic sterilization. 
It is important that individuals with autism receive adequate education and resources to be able to undertake this part of the, this part of life safely, legally, and in an appropriate manner. That is an understatement right there. However, those with more severe mental impairment also have the right to be protected from sexual exploitation if the person la lacks the capacity to give informed consent. No one can give consent on behalf of the disabled. Well, the disabled, that's not essentially true. or That's not necessarily true. It depends on like the range of it. Thus, if a person is judged by a psychiatrist or parent to be incapable of giving consent, it is the caregiver's responsibility to protect the person from sexual contact, which could be deemed sexual assault or statutory rape. Alright guys, I'm going to take a quick intermission real quick, and while this intermission is happening, be sure to like the video um, and comment down below what you think, either if you're watching this in the premiere or um, watching it at a later time. Comment what you think about all this. Um, and also, uh, be sure to follow me on Facebook at Alex's Autism Awareness Channel. I'm going to put the link in both the description and the comments. There's also um, a bunch of YouTube channels that I will be putting in the description. Be sure to subscribe to all of those. Let's get back to the article. It is important that families, schools, and service providers treat the topics of puberty, sexuality, and relationships with the utmost respect and sensitivity. That's how it should be anyway, as these attitudes can have a profound lifelong effect on sexuality. Young people with autism must learn that it is okay to be attracted to someone of the same sex. Uh, the fact, yeah, it, it, it's definitely okay. Um, as orientation may, either, may be either fascinating or a very obscure concept. Individuals with autism may ask a lot of questions regarding their sexuality, so it is, is essential that these individuals have the means to acquire information about safe and informed sexual choices. It is important to allow for opportunities to ask questions in a comfortable environment where they can be answered honestly. The ARC, a national organization of and for intellectually disabled people, asserts that these people have a right not only to engage in sexual relationships, but also to marry and have children. Uh, th that's true, we are certainly capable. Um, if individuals th with autism do have children, they, might, they also have a right to receive assistance raising them. That's true, so like social security benefits and, and compensation. Yeah, we, we, we do have those rights. So on to the concluding remarks for the article, um, and then I'm going to have some personal thoughts of my own. Autism spectrum disorder is a spectrum of developmental disorders that impair an affected individual's ability to communicate and interact with others. Although individuals with autism may face more difficulties communicating or interacting with others, many individuals with autism are also able to lead happy, healthy, and self-sufficient lives that may involve romantic relationships. That's personally true for me, um, and, and I do hope that everyone can, can experience that. Having a relationship with an individual with autism can be re as rewarding as any other relationship. However, there may be adjustments that a partner or an individual with autism may need to make, such as thinking about the way they communicate with their partner in a different way. They may have the additional responsibility of helping their partner with autism to manage money, find employment, and or supporting them to advocate for themselves. Um, and that's very true. Like, we do need support occasionally. Um, like, like, even me, like, finding employment. Um, I, like, one time I needed to have my good buddy um, find me a job. Um, but yeah, uh, so personally for me, uh, I am asexual. Like, the the thought the thought of uh, sex scares me almost, um, because I'm very sensitive when it comes to contact. Um, but that being said, like I do get like the thoughts that everyone else does, um, and at the same time, like I d I have a lot of self control, so like I'm not gonna end up doing anything. Um, and I think it's important that other people need to realize that if they don't experience self-control um, and they let their feelings get in the way, they could end up getting in a lot of trouble. Um, 
and both people in that relationship don't deserve to get in trouble. Um, and it, and yeah, like self-control is really the most important thing in a healthy relationship. Um, and it doesn't matter if you have a disability or not. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please share to like, subscribe, and share the video. And as I said, there are going to be a bunch of channels down below. Be sure to subscribe to those. And I am going to see you in another future video Monday at 1230. Peace.